Alright guys, what's up? You're watching Brad's iPod Help, and today the Untethered Jailbreak for iOS 4.3.3 was released. Now this comes in a few flavors. You can either choose Red Snow, Pondage Tool, or, or Snow Breeze. Now I'm only going to show you the Red Snow version, uh, but tomorrow stay tuned for the Snow Breeze version. Now Snow Breeze would be for the unlockers, and Red Snow would basically be for everybody else. Uh, so if you don't care about your carrier, if you just want to stay on your current carrier, uh, you can go ahead and do Red Snow. It's much, much easier than Punish Tool or Snow Breeze. So to get things started, you are going to need to download two things. The first thing is obviously Red Snow, and that is 0.9.6 RC15. I'll have both Mac and PC versions down below. And you're also going to need to download your iOS 4.3.3 firmware for your respective device. Uh, so if you if you have an iPhone, you choose the iPhone version. If you have the iPod Touch, you can download that one, or the iPad. Uh, now this is only available for the iPhone 4 GSM. Uh, there is a similar jailbreak for the CDMA version. I'll have a link down below for an article uh, giving you step by step. I'm not going to do that myself since I don't have the CDMA iPhone 4. Um, and it also works with the iPod Touch 4th generation and 3rd generation, but only the iPad 1, not the iPad 2, so keep that in mind. Uh, so once again, the iPhone 4 GSM, this works. The CDMA, there's a slightly different version. I'll have a link down below for an article where you can do that. The iPod Touch 4th gen, the 3rd gen, and only the iPad 1, not the 2nd gen. So once you have downloaded everything, uh, you can just extract Red Snow and it'll open up to this file, uh, this folder rather, and you can just open this up and then open Red Snow and you'll get this right here. Let me just zoom in so you can see a bit better. Uh, but then you just click the little browse thing here. You search for your iOS 4.3.3 firmware. So here's mine. I click open and let it process. And then once it is finished processing, uh, you just click next and it'll prepare the jailbreak data. One quick thing I wanted to add in, if you have jailbroken with iOS 4.3.3 using the RC14 version of Red Snow, you can still use this version, you don't need to restore or anything else, uh, just use the RC15 that I'm about to show you, it should make your device untethered. So for my device, I am going to select Install Cydia, even though I did have Install Cydia with the RC14 version, uh, just to eliminate any complications. Uh, I'm also going to allow boot animations, so I'm going to put that there. Enable battery percentage, I like that, and enable multitasking gestures. Uh, now this is actually new for my device, I don't know about any other device, but I'm going to enable that. And uh, that's all I'm going to add for this, and then I'm going to click next, and I'm going to zoom out here so I can give you a bit of bit of instructions. Uh, so from this point I'm just going to hold the home and power button for 10 seconds and then I'm going to release the power button and just hold the home button until you hear some activity on your computer. So here we go, I'm going to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the power button. Two, three, four, Five, wait for the activity on the computer, there we go, and you can just put that down for now, and then you are ready to click next. Now the reason why I do that is just to speed things up and eliminate any complications. Um, now you can follow the on-screen instructions if you want, but I'd prefer to do that uh, the way that I just showed you. So let's click next, and it should start exploiting with Lime Rain and go through all the steps. So yeah, there we go, it is now exploding with Lime Rain, and it is jailbreaking my device the untethered way. So I'm going to be back as soon as my device has jail, uh, been re-jailbroken with the untethered, and uh, yeah, so be back. So there you go, my device has just booted up, and I'm going to slide to unlock, and I should have Cydia right here, so that does work just fine. And uh, it is untethered, so I did try shutting it down and rebooting it. It all works just fine, and uh, you can go and test it out for yourself. If this does not work, you can leave any comments down below and I'll try to help you. But uh, yeah, here we go. Cydia works just fine. Now to confirm that this is iOS 4.3.3, you can take a look right there along the version. And it says iOS 4.3.3, 8J2. So as always, I do recommend you definitely should sync and back up your device before attempting this, just in case something goes wrong. So as always, please read the description down below if there's been any changes that I've made uh, after making this video. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have, please hit the like button, and if you already haven't, please hit the subscribe button up top. And as well, leave any comments, questions, or suggestions down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.